So to do my design for an 11 ounce uh, mug that has been polyester coated, I go to Canva and I do have Canva Pro, um, but there are I think most of these are available on just regular Canva. I'm gonna click over here on create a design and I'm gonna choose custom size. I have mug paper that's specifically the size for a mug and it's already in here. If I didn't already have it in here, you could go ahead and change this to inches instead of pixels and then uh, put in nine and a half on your width and four inches on your height. And then I'm gonna come over, turn that off and go to my uploads. I've already uploaded this design. Um, it was a design that I got from Font Bundles. Um, that is a site that um, allows you to download images. I have a subscription, so I have commercial use of all of the images. I think a subscription is like 20 bucks a month or something like that. Um, I've gone ahead and I've kind of cropped this down to where I know exactly what size it is. Um, these mugs are almost four inches tall, and so I want a pretty good size um, image graphic to go on it. So I can see here, because I have it by inches. Here my width is 3.4 and my height is three inches. I might make that just a little bit bigger. Okay, and then to get the sizing, I'm gonna go ahead and center this on the paper. And as you can see, the paper shows, you know, the um, canvas that I'm on shows the nine and a half inch canvas. Then I'm just going, going to go ahead and copy this and paste it to the other side. I always do both sides of a mug. That's up to you. I sell my mugs. I like the graphics to be on both sides. And I want to be sure that these are the same distance apart. And I think they are. And remember, your handle, these are gonna wrap around and they're gonna to come together where the handle is. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Um, and then I'm gonna come over here to file and save. And then I'm going to click share. And I'm gonna download it. And I'm gonna choose transparent background because I don't want the background to have anything to do with this. I don't want anything trying to print the background. I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. And once it's downloaded, I use a sawgrass printer and I'm in the print manager for sawgrass. I'm going to choose my design and open it. And then the print manager uh, software in sawgrass, I've got it set to preserve the layout from designer. It's exactly how I want it to be. Um, the material is a ceramic mug. And I want the image mirrored, so it will, because it's gonna turn around right when you put it on your mug, and then print. And I'm printing on Koala paper, and it is su um, sublimation ink that's printing onto sublimation paper. Okay, so I have printed out my um, graphic, and I've got it on the nine and a half by four inch paper. And the image itself, um, it worked out to be a little over three inches um, tall and almost three and a half inches wide. And I have it centered on the page and that is going to give me the correct um, placement on the mug itself. And again, this is an 11 ounce mug and it is polyester coated. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the image and with it centered on the page, the image placement, when you put it on a flat surface and you um, get the uh, image directly in contact with your flat surface, it puts it in just the right place on your mug. And so now we've got it centered and on an 11 ounce mug, your 
mug paper almost touches the handle on both sides. Just be sure that it's even. Um, you want that to be even on both sides. Then we're going to tape it down. press yeah. I mean my mug press excuse me and I'm using thermal tape to tape this down on the top I don't fold over the tape I want to use that when I take the um, paper off of the mug after it's finished sublimating So when you have it all wrapped up, it's ready to go into the mug press. Now we're gonna press our mug and our mug press for 170 seconds on 360 degrees. Now your time might vary. Heat press mugs, can the temperature of the mugs can vary from press to press. Um, and so, and even the, the mugs where you get your mugs can be uh, different and you might need to adjust the time. I've done my adjusting so often until I've got it down pretty much to a science, but for me, uh, 360 for 170 seconds works great. Okay, now this mug is blazing, blazing hot. So don't be fooled, but I'm not touching the part of the mug that is burning hot. Peel this off. And now I'm going to dip it in some room temperature water because I want to stop the sublimation process. You can hear it sizzling when I put it in there. Now, a lot of people are worried about this. They're afraid that there are going to be cracks in their mug if they do this. And that can happen. I have lost a few mugs to cracking uh, when it goes from the hot press into the water. But I have discovered or feel like those mugs already had internal cracks to start with. And so the, um, the breakage would have likely happened when somebody put that mug in the microwave. Um, and so, you know, I'd rather know now than sell it to someone and have a chance of it uh, breaking and I'm just cooling this down so it stops the sublimation process. I've had mugs where I um, put them, um, I did not put them in the water to cool them down and sublimation continues to happen. And because of that, there's been bleed. Uh, the, the ink will kind of, you know, leach out to the rest of the mug. And that may depend on your mug um, it doesn't happen often, but it has happened. But just to keep that from happening, I go ahead and I put it in the water and uh, get it out. But look at that, uh, how beautifully vibrant is this image. I do have a link below that will uh, take you to uh, my link tree and I've got a place where you can get sublimation supplies there. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, again, I'm Kelly, I didn't tell y'all that. I'm Kelly from Under a Texas Sky. And um, this is how wonderfully easy doing sublimation on a polyester coated mug can be. Thanks so much for watching.